Well, so what I have is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And this is what we call our vertex form. Sometimes we call it standard form. I like to call it vertex form. And you leave uh, the general form as my standard form. Uh, so anyways, I might want to find how to find the axis of symmetry and the vertex. Now, I call this vertex form because it's very, very simple to be able to find the axis of symmetry in the vertex. So it's important. Sometimes when you have an equation that's in standard form, we want to convert it to vertex form because it's so simple to find the axis of symmetry and vertex when it's in this form. Now, not all equations are very easy to transform, but when they are, or when you already have them in this form, to find the axis of symmetry and vertex is very, very simple. And I'll show you why. So first of all, remember our h. That told, told us where to shift our graph left or right. right? So if we started at 0 and then I add in a number, now that's going to take so we start at 0 with our parent graph. That's our axis symmetry is 0. So if I shift left to right, my axis symmetry is now going to shift left to right. So therefore, x equals h is my axis symmetry. So whatever I'm doing for shifting left to right, that's going to be my axis symmetry. Then remember, k was told us what we shift up and down. Well, my vertex lies on my axis of symmetry. So I'm going to have h, comma, and then also I'm going to be moving up or down, which will be my k. And that's simple. No math involved. So it's really helpful if you have an equation in this form to find the axis, symmetry, and vertex. Thanks.